Okay, we totally did not buy this on Amazon. This was a Christmas present for Melina from my mother, but oh my goodness, this thing is the cutest thing. And it farts. But if you want to know what these are, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, I'm Wendy Valencia. Duh. It says it down below. This is my husband Mauricio and my daughter Melina. She's six. And we are working our way through the Dave Ramsey baby steps, paying off $304,000 worth of debt. Ick. That's the first time I've said that. So we are here to motivate you every step of your journey by showing you our journey. So if that is something that interests you, consider clicking that big red subscribe button down below. So today I'm going to talk to you about what I spent online this month. And it was completely reasonable this month and woo, 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 under $150, which is the amount that I put in the budget pretty much every month to spend online for things as they come up or things that we need throughout the month. Now I'll give you, I have six days left in the month, but I really don't think I'm going to spend any more money. So let's just jump on in. The very first thing that I bought was for $12.99. And I will tell you that the graphic says $14.99. I paid $12.99. The one thing about Amazon is that the prices fluctuate a lot. It's your best bet to use a service like Camel 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 to check the prices historically to find out what the lowest prices on items are. I paid $12.99 for this, these. And these are sunglasses that I bought. I had, honestly, I never pay very much for sunglasses. Don't they look cool? I got two pairs for $12.99 and they're gold. I actually, when I bought them, I thought one was gold and one was silver and I clicked on the wrong the wrong one but these two gold ones are fine i can buy silver ones later at some point i had dollar store sunglasses and i will tell you the lens at the dollar store sunglasses are horrible these are fantastic they're good quality they're polarized they're solid the frames are sturdy i'm really really pleased with them they are i'm sure they're like supposed to be knockoffs of ray-bans but I mean, I totally love them and they're exactly what I wanted in sunglasses and they're going to make me happy. So I would definitely buy this brand again. The next thing we bought, we spent $7.90 for some command electronic cord hooks. And I bought those for my office because I have this head, pair of headphones, you know, just old in-ear headphones that I use at work to listen to music or listen to YouTube in the background or whatever. And they sit on top of my CPU on my computer and they are constantly falling over the, on the floor and they are constantly getting wrapped up in the tires on my chair. And then I have to climb down on the floor and take them out. So I put these hooks all along under my desk, under like the top part of my desk. And so I just string them in when I am done with them and they hang down just about this much on my desk. They're out of the way. It's perfect. So these were a fantastic buy and they're command hooks. So they're durable and they last forever. The next thing that I got are these. These are mason jar lids that are BPA free plastic. I got them in two sizes, the regular ball jar lids and then the wide mouth ball jar lids. And why did we get them? Because I am tired of buying new lids because my old lids have rusted. So this is going to be one of those purchases that it will save me money in the long run. Granted, they were $12.99 for each set. So we did spend about $25 on them, which is a lot for lids, but they are leak proof, which is fantastic. Um, we could have gotten much cheaper plastic lids that were not leak proof. But since Mauricio uses the ball jars to take his smoothies to work, we did need leak proof ones because he throws it in his lunch bag. The next purchase is not something I planned on buying. Gloves. So these are touchscreen gloves. And the reason I had to buy them is I lent somebody my coat and they lost my black touchscreen gloves. Not a major deal. So I needed new gloves because it's freezing here and there was no way I wasn't going to have gloves. So I found these on Amazon. They had good reviews and I will tell you, I 
love them. They come in like 10 different colors. I got black because they match my coat. And the touchscreen is for leather, shockingly good. I'm really pleased with them. Like I will, if I ever need gloves, I will buy these again. They are lined with cashmere. So they're soft and the leather is super flexible and soft. And I just really, really like these. So the next thing I bought was not on Amazon. It was actually on DSW. I had a $50 gift card for DSW and I had been holding onto it until I decided what I really, really needed. And over the last two months, I have had a pair of gray boots that started falling completely apart. As in like, they weren't real leather and the, the coating was like, they were just falling off. I, I can't even describe it to you, but it was like the fake leather was disintegrating. So I found these awesome boots on DSW for $69.99. They are guests. They are not real leather, but I really like them and they are somewhat similar to the ones that I got rid of before. I ended up paying, I think a total of 22 or $24 for those boots because my gift card was for $50. So I got them, you know, free shipping and everything. And I love these boots. They are super comfortable and I'm really, really happy with them. The next thing we got is underbed storage for Melina. Yeah, I know. We're just all about the exciting stuff, but I am in love with these little rolling things. This is not like the typical underbed storage. And I'm going to put a link to this down below. It's a little like rolling shelf that slides right under her bed. It came with two in each box. And so we are using them for Melina's American Girl doll stuff to go under her bed because she had it everywhere and she wanted it out. And so she could play with it whenever she wanted. And I totally get that, but it was in the way. I mean, seriously in the way. So we agreed on this and now she can put it on the shelf and slide it right under her bed and use it anytime she wants. And if you know anything about me, I'm all about organization and finding a way to make stuff work. And the last thing that I have spent money online for is Poshmark. I'm a huge fan of Poshmark. I bought, I think seven or eight things on Poshmark that I, I have been really unhappy lately with my clothing really unhappy. And so I took that $200 gift card and I did that swap out. I told you about, and I used it to buy clothes at Poshmark. And right now I think I'm about $125 in. I, I've got enough to, to make me happy. So I'll probably sit on that last $75 for a little while. I, I think I bought like two or three pairs of jeans and yeah. It, the one thing I love about Poshmark is when you get lined up with somebody who prices their clothes reasonably that has similar style to you. It adds to your wardrobe without breaking the bank. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big left and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.